are at Sea Grill, and today we're going to be learning how to properly grill our fish so that the skin is crispy and perfect. So this is a technique that everybody wants to know, but sometimes people don't think they can do at home. This is a very simple technique that we do. There's different types of fish with different types of obviously skin on it, so the fat content really varies at all times when you're grilling it. But one of the secret techniques or like the little tricks that we do is we actually take the fish and we score it. And what it does, it, it doesn't kind of pull away on the skin. So it actually stretches open so they're all flat on the surface. And so let's talk about different types of fish. Because as you mentioned, some fish work for this technique and some don't. So right. where can you go wrong and what should you steer towards? Well, you should definitely steer towards uh, fish that are more on the leaner side of the fish. Um, example will be like the sea basses, the bronzinos. Arctic char is another one that people will be very surprised because they don't really have the fish with the skin on and it's very much so flavorful. Why I picked this fish is because the fat between the meat and the skin, it makes it very juicy. And so it's a lean fish, but it's actually very, very moist. Great, well will you show us the steps? Right, absolutely. So I'm just gonna kind of take these two fish already uh, filleted and clean. And then what we do is we basically give it a little gentle score. What it does is also cooks it evenly. And instead, if you don't score it, perhaps on this case, what happens is they tend to curl up. And how deep do you score it? So it's just a little tap inside. Halfway. Right, and it's just kind of to, again, to stretch it out so that it doesn't curl up as, as you're cooking it. Great, so then we move to the grill? We move to the grill. We have our fish, we've lightly scored it right over here and we have it ready to go. And I was gonna show you the technique of doing it right on the plancha that we're very fortunate to have. And we're also gonna do it in the uh, traditional saute pan. Two different types of oil is what we use for this is because of the smoking point uh, on the temperature. What we also do is we actually cook it with butter. Season it, kosher salt, and then right on the plancha, we literally put the olive oil down, pan's already hot, we put the fish down, and we basically, again, let it ride. When we're cooking in the pan, what I usually do is I season the fish with olive oil. And the same thing, season it with salt. Uh, for the pan-wise, we actually go with the canola blend oil, again, because this is a hotter element that we have a hotter smoking point on the oil. So what we do is we use a little bit of canola. The pan in the initial should be very hot. So you can kind of see where the oil starts to slightly smoke. And at that point, perfect timing wherein you can actually sear and drop your fish. Right now you can kind of sort of see the smoke coming out of the pan and that's when we want to try to put the fish down. I do turn off the heat just in case it starts to flame up. The same thing as we put it down and if it slightly moves, you're good. And again, this is not a Teflon pan. Now, I just give it a little gentle push as we made that score. Again, it tends to curl up and the secret of that is just to kind of give it a little push down so it kind of spreads open itself. The oil protects the skin to, uh, to prevent it from burning and you get that nice golden color to it. And again, once you put it down, we don't try to move it at all. When we try to move it around, what happens is the skin is not crispy enough. Moisture comes out of the fish and that moisture sticks to the pan. It'll tell you when it's ready is that when you see the skin part on this end, it just really slides right off. Same on this end, when you get to see the fish, and you have that kind of that gold and nice good color on the edge, you know, this fish really just takes a matter of minutes to cook, as you can see. And then, so what we do now is to finish it off with a tiny bit of butter. So we're giving that flavor now to the fish. It gives that nice golden color. And then later on, what we do is we kind of baste the fish, the flesh side, so you get that nice, good, rich, golden brown butter color. And then what we do later on, then we flip it, and again, it's off the heat right there. As the fat starts to drip down, what happens is that now the skin gets firm. And away from the heat, it actually gets nice and crispy. In this case, on this one too, what we'll do is we'll flip it around. And again, same thing. In the initial, it's very soft. And you notice it that it's not crispy. But the moment that it's away from the heat, it becomes very nice and crispy.
there we have perfect crispy skin. Do you let it rest? Do you do anything else to it after you take it off the heat? No. You actually read this point on, you know, you can season it up with a little bit of lemon juice and just simply enjoy the fish just as is. As you just saw, you know, we did it in a matter of minutes. Thank you so much for teaching us how to get perfect crispy skin on our fish. Really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank you.